breaking news. Scientist Tyler Renneria has found a new way to find the most efficient light source possible. Efficiency in both the amount of light given off to the ratio with the amount of heat given off. Tyler, tell me more about your investigation. Well, we used a radiometer which measures the different amount of light and heat combined by having it spin around a central point inside of a figure that looks almost like a light bulb. And then we used different light sources. We used flashlight, a hair dryer, and like spotlights. And we tested those to see the different light and heat that were set off into the radiometer. And using that, we were able to identify the most efficient light bulb. Okay, okay. So apparently they tested three different things, a hair dryer, the spotlight, and the flashlight. Now the hair dryer did not give off almost any light, yet it did give off a fair amount of heat. The flashlight, which you'll see in this uh, representation, gave off a lot of light, but very little heat, as you can see by the speed of Zach spinning. Now Zach is spinning, he's representing a radiometer. He is spinning slow because the amount of heat is actually lower than what the hair dryer had and what the spotlight had. Now, Tyler will represent the heat rays from the spotlight. Ready, go. As you can see, there's more heat rays, and though the spotlight was brighter, it gave off more heat, making it less efficient than the flashlight was. What you're seeing right now is the radiometer that Tyler has patented. The three things used were a flashlight, a work light and a hair dryer. Tyler, after this investigation, what have we found for your conclusion? We found that the searchlight gave off the most amount of light. We found that the hair dryer gave off the greatest amount of heat, but the best heat to light ratio was actually the flashlight. Okay. Well noted. I will not use a hair dryer for a lamp now. What are your plans for your next investigation? Find a better interviewer than you. What you say?